variety of different media, paint, print, um, making models and shooting little short videos as well. And um, Today I'm going to show you how to make um, a Galway hooker boat using materials that you may have had at home or that can easily be got. Okay, So what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using a 3 litre, a, um, three litre milk carton, some PVA glue, some newspaper, maybe a little bit of card if you have it, um, some kind of a stick like a skewer or if you have a bamboo pole that's fine, um, some paint, acrylic paint is good if you want your boat to be water resistant but if you don't, um, actual ordinary household paint will do fine, um, some brushes, some masking tape and a Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my milk carton, I'm going to wash it and dry it and uh, then I'm going to just draw a line around the base of it here um, because you can see that there's an actual ready to be made shape base of the boat here. The advantage of using this means that you, um, firstly your boat is a little bit more water resistant and secondly you won't need quite as many layers of paper or you can do your paper mache. Just cut out um, the shape from my milk carton here, and I'm going to. Um, this is totally fine. You can just cover this with um, with uh, paper mache, um, but I'm going to go a little bit fancy with it. So I'm going to actually add a keel and then a seat in the boat as well. So I've some just ordinary card here. I've got the boat here. I'm going to just trace around at the end of the boat here. going to measure the width of the boat here as well. These bits are going to be the keel and the seat in the boat. So with my uh, bit of cardboard here, I'm going to use this to kind of make a bit of a seat, uh, a seat and folding it into like a little box shape, securing it with a bit of tape. And I can then pop that in my boat in here. Um, I don't push it right down to the base because you might want to put fishing nets and things underneath your seat. And all I need to do then is simply tape that to the sides of the boat there like that. I've just taped the box-like structure to the centre of the boat. It doesn't go down to the base because I want to be able to pop some nets underneath there. And I've also taped the keel to the base of the boat as well there. And we're now ready for our paper mache. You can actually use different papers as well. So if you want to use yellow paper or different colour paper so you can see your layers, it's quite possible for you to do that too. layers of paper mache um, paper. Um, in between I've actually used a bit of a colour coloured paper so I could see the layers more clearly. You don't have to do that, you can just use newspaper and it's fine. Okay. Um, my next stage is I'm going to actually paint it. I've waited for mine to dry before I paint it because that can also be kind of handy too. Um, I put it beside the stove at night and it, dry, it dried overnight so it's now it's good and dry. Some dark brown and black paint general dark colours are kind of nice. Again, if you don't have black paint, you can mix brown and blue to make a nice dark colour. Black has to go here. Anywhere. Yeah. I have 
one layer on my boat. Um, I'm going to use a slightly darker colour to add some shading. Now again, you can just use black if you like, but um, I like to have a little bit of shading. So me and Emily are going to try and streak this on top of this to kind of get the effect of wood. Galway hookers often have a white stripe along the side. So there are two ways of doing that. You can either do it by painting it like so, or you can use a strip, a strip of white paper. Again, you don't have to do the stripe, but I, I do think it um, adds a nice finishing touch. Okay, I'm just going to put the mast in in the brow sprit by sticking the mast down through the sort of seat there. And the brow sprit can be kind of simply taped onto your boat. Just using some black paint now to cover over the excess masking tape and to make it blend in. I finished the white stripe along the boat and also the name of the boat here. I've attached the bowsprit and the mast. The next step is to cut triangular sails out of red card or paper. If you don't have red card or paper, you can actually paint white paper and it will work fine. Um, and I'm just using cellar tape and a little bit of string or thread to attach my sails to my mast. I'm going to tape it shut. Here we have our main sail, our jib and our four sails. I'm just going to attach the jib to the main sail with just a little bit of side tape. This gives it a little bit of stiffness and stops it flapping around too much. In order to make the four sails more 3D, I'm simply going to use a little bit of paper here Fold it back and forth to make a concertina shape. And then glue that between the two sails, like so. And that gives the impression that one sail is in front of the other. So I've, atta I've attached the two um, sails there with a little slip of paper. If you want to produce a simple version of the Galway hooker, you could take out the keel and take out the seat and just use a little bit of blue tack, the mast, stick it in, instead of tape, two sails to your mast and cover it with the newspaper and paint it black. There we have it, our Galway hooker and it's ready to set sail.